What's up guys, welcome to your, um, um, I think it's the, um, 33rd, I suppose, um, C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Today we're actually starting a very, very, very important subject in C++, and, uh, that's called Object Oriented Something, or, well, I don't know how to pronounce it, but, well, you probably know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna say Object Oriented something um programming and uh, that includes something called uh, classes and all this stuff and it's going to take a lot of time so um and well there's going to be many 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 tutorials on this because you know i want this reel to be cover covered because you know you're never going to do uh, to survive in uh, advanced c++ programming without knowing uh, about object oriented programming so first of all, create a new source file, and if you want uh, any of my newest C++ tutorials, you know the drill that I'm going to put the video in pause and then um, start recording again once I um, enter the basic information which you have been doing in so many of my tutorials. And if you got this far, you should know how to, you know, what it is. So um, I'll see you after the pause. And welcome back. Well, uh, this basic template is what we've been using in all of my tutorials so far well let's just call this going beyond our own borders cause now we're going to change this um, template so we make two new lines and type CLASS class and uh, our class right here is just going to be called um, test actually it's going to be called rectangle now you create two of these uh, curly bracket uh, things and a semicolon right here. And uh, well, what a class is is um well, it's uh, you rem you remember when I told you about the uh, structures in my uh, four uh, let's see, yes uh, number four uh, number four tutorial I suppose I learned you about structures well and um. You can uh, actually think of, uh, to make it, uh, things a little bit more simple, you can think of a class like a structure, you know. This could look like a structure, if you just change the keyword class to struct, this would be a structure. So, well, uh, a class is just a collection of um, data just like a structure, but there's some more advantages with the um, class. Instead of only having variables, you can include members and functions inside a class too. And you know, you can only have uh, variables with no values inside a structure. So uh, now just go inside here and remember everything you type in between two curly brackets is the uh, struct, you know, the class's body, you know, that's uh, everything that the, the, the class contains. Now I'm going to declare two in variables, one called x, one called y. Now we're going to say p. Uh, U B L I C public, and uh, well, I probably haven't even used uh, this keyword uh, this keyword in any of my tutorials so far, but I can tell you what this means. Well, in a class, um, every uh, object is by default um, set uh, set to be equal to a uh, to be private to have the data type private. You know, you can type private up here, and by default, it's always that. And a private variable means that you can only use this. Um, you can only use this variable inside this class, but once you use it outside the class, out here. So that's why that you know these uh, two variables right here can be private. So that doesn't matter. But what we type down here has to be public, and that's why we create uh, this public and a colon. And uh, that just means that everything typed in between or you know below this uh, public statement is going to be public variables or methods or whatever now we're going to have a um, a void function and we're going to call that set values and that's going to have two arguments in a and in b so now that we got that we're going to go down here we type int area or what hell this is called in English I don't know area or something yes I suppose that's it and um, in here you type um, 
Well, um, actually, we have made a little error right here. Well, not an error, but something that's not supposed to be here. There is the semicolon and add two curly brackets because, you know, we want to define the uh, method's body. This uh, method um, or function set values, we want to define the body right here. And another thing, when you're declaring these uh, functions in a, a class, you don't have to prototype them. So we'll just create the function right here. We're going to say um, x equals a and y equals b. So well, basically, we have two private variables right here, and you know, when they're private, they can only be used in this class rectangle right here. And uh, this function, which is public, because as you know, it's declared inside a public field field called set values, has two arguments, uh, a and b. And uh, what this uh, function does is that it sets the private variable x equal to the value of a and the private va uh, variable y equals to the value of b. And uh, now we're going to have a um, method body for this uh, area thing too. And uh, area doesn't need any um, arguments. It's just going to have a return x multiplied with y value or you know body so uh, well what this does this area thing this int area will return the value of x multiplied with the value of y and uh, well actually i suppose that's everything we need in our class right now now go down here in your engine which is outside the class and now you need to um, initialize the class rectangle because you know we need to ask just these method, these method, with these methods or functions, set values and um, area thing. We need to add ask just these um, functions, but you can't just type set values because you know you need to um, gain ashes to the class first, and you um, can't just type rectangle dot set values. Uh uh, that will not work. That's why we need to initialize the class. Uh, and we're going to initialize this to rectangle. We're just going to call this rect. And now type rect dot. Um, well, actually, since we're doing this in a uh, DFC plus plus, you just hit, you just hit Control S right now to save this file. Oh well, it's not saved, so forget about that. Sorry, don't hit that. We just type rect dot set values, and now we need to add the value of the arguments, which is going to be three and four. So now the variable a is equal to three, and the variable variable b is equal to four. And as you know, this uh, this will just set the value the uh, ver the value of the private variable x will now be set to three, and the private uh, variable y will now be set to four because of this. You know, well, you should know what I'm talking about right now. And now go to the next line, in which we are going to be printing out the total area of uh, this rectangle. So now just type C out area colon and now you type rect again dot area and an inline statement right here so uh, well, what this does is that you know it sets the values of um, a to 3 and the value of um, b to 4 and therefore you will always you also set the value of x to 3 and the value of y to 4. So uh, now we say uh, print out uh, area and then print out rectangle dot area and this uh, method will multiply the values of x um, the multiplied with uh, y. So uh, what is what will print out is the value of x uh, multiplied with the value of i and the value of x is 3 and the value of y is 4 so if you try and hit f9 right now and we're going to save this as um, classes 
and um, hit enter. You see that it says 12 because 3 multiplied with 4 is equal to 12. So, uh, well, I don't know really how long time I have lived. I um, I am quite sure I don't have long time left. So I'm just going to, um, well, I'm not going to recap because I don't have time for that. Uh, but my next tutorial will also be learning about um, classes. And I'll just be recapping uh, all this in our next tutorial. So um, I'll just see you in my next tutorial.